here's an example of the baseball's Pythagorean theorem. If you remember what this is, baseball's Pythagorean theorem says if we know how many runs a team scores or points a team scores and how many they gave up, we can use that to get a pretty good estimation of how many games they're going to win in a year. Okay. So, baseball's Pythagorean theorem says that if you know, you take how many, how many runs a team scored and square it, then divide that by the number of runs they scored squared plus the number of runs they've allowed squared. This gives a pretty good estimation of how many games they would win. So let's use the information from the Kansas City Royals to calculate uh, their prediction. So in 2012, they scored 676 runs. So we would have 676 squared on top. Have it again on the bottom. Plus, they allowed 746 runs. So we'd have 746 squared. Now, we can put all this in the calculator at one time. Just remember that you got to put parentheses around the entire denominator. Okay, so when we do that, we get 676 squared divided by parentheses 676 squared plus 746 squared close parentheses and we come up with a number of about 0.45 and so what this tells us is based on this information the Royals should uh, win about 45 percent of their games well there are 162 games in a season and so if we predict the Royals are going to win 45% of those, we take 45% of 162, and that comes out to 72.9, which is a prediction of about 73 games. And how close were we? Well, if I pull this back up, we can see that in 2012, they actually won 72 games. So, our prediction was very close. We we're only off by one game, and over the course of a season, there's a lot of things that could happen to cause a team to win or lose one game.